What's going on people, it's Mr. Door Door on Tour and I'm giving my review from Bristol City game and my preview for the QPR game. Check it out. So where shall I start uh, the review from the Bristol City game? <coughs> uh, I think it was a deservedly point after going down to 10 men and Ryan Yates getting sent off in the 55th minute. Um, but yeah, all around performance, I think I'll take a point. Bristol City is not an easy guy to go to and after uh, like I said Yates got sent off, it, I think the whole back four especially Robinson, <laughs> Quaid might disagree with this. I think he, he played not bad to be fair. Um, Morrill, Fagurido and Cash, yet again, fantastic right back. Um, but yeah, the whole, even including Sambo, he was uh, fantastic. Uh, even um, Lewis Gavin could have stole it. <coughs> but like I said, a point away to Bristol City and we're still fifth in the league. Yes, I'll, I'll take that. What did you think of the game from Saturday? Did you think it was a deserved point or do you think Grabby could have got the late winner? So let's talk about tomorrow's game at Loftus Road, Nazca Forest travel to Queen's Park Rangers. And if you remember last season, I went in my full kit. Uh, the vlog, if you want to see the vlog, it's up there. Uh, it was a crazy day um, with Craig and Malcolm on the way to London in a full kit. But um, but let's talk about the game. Uh, we can go to QPR confidence. Um, I think as team news as I'm hearing, Semedo is back. Uh, Jenkins is back and Bele Juan is back as well. So that's positive news. Uh, still no Sal. Uh, Ryan Yates is suspended. So we can go there confidence is high. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we could win this. With QPR, uh, ex Nottingham Forest manager Mark Warburton. Um, what can I say? When he was Forest manager, he didn't do, he didn't do that well. Um, but he's doing well with QPR, um, they, they, they've got a good side. QPR are there 12th in the league, um, but, uh, I think like, they lost on Friday at Fulham. But they've still got a good side, uh, they've got Jordan Hugill, he's on loan from West Ham. Nakao Wells, I think he's on loan from Burnley. Um, but yeah, they've, they've got a good front too. They got ex Nottingham Forest player Todd Kane. Uh, I don't know what season it was now, but he's going he's going to be threat. And they got uh, a midfielder called Ebr is it Abram is he? I can't pronounce his name. Um, he's a threat. I watched him on Friday, and he, he's a title player. But um, keep it up. They've got a good side. To be fair, um, they've got a, quite a good player as well in Luke Omos as well. And yeah, they got. Um, yeah, Grant Hall as well, another player, it's a threat from corners, um, but like I said, it's not going to be um, an easy game, um, QPR, like I said, Warburton, he'll have a draw against his next team, he got, he, like, I think Warburton got sacked by Makarakis when Makarakis took over, but, but Forest fans and QPR fans, comment below, um, what do you think the score will be? Um, who do you think, Cooper, who do you think is the most talented player of your team? Comment below as well. So, any Forest fans, are you going down there tomorrow? And if you do see me, um, come to me and ask for prediction. Um, and before I go, there's no Craig Price. He's at work, but we've got Malcolm coming with me, and we've got a special guest coming with me as well, Mr. Benjamin Bloom, fantastic bloke. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. He does like podcasts all for all the teams. Uh, and he, I've met him. I've met him a couple of times. I even done a little chat with him on YouTube about the Fars era 
as well. So go and check him out. The, his link will be down in the description. Um, but yeah, uh, go and check Benjamin Blim out. Before I go, like I said, I'm, I'm there tomorrow. So okay, don't be shy to come up to me. Um, Forest fans, QPR fans, I'm going to keep saying this. Comment below on what you think the score would be. Uh, make sure you like this video. And yep, yeah, hopefully Forest can go to London and do a great win. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Woo!